Welcome back to the PowerShell Parameter Series. We're going to be going lickety-split on this. Uh, just for the record, I did add the base script on GitHub, uh, so you can find this base script on GitHub. And I believe in the description it's linked. I'm going to try to remember to link it in the description on each of these videos. I mainly use this for quick copy and pasting. So this one we're going to go really fast on. We're going to be uh, looking in this case on using a uh, validation set, right? So uh, one of the techniques that I use a lot um, with sets is the SMO SQL Management Objects Library. That is because the SQL Management Objects Library is always in the same spot uh, for the most part, and then it allows me to quickly switch between versions of SQL Server that I need, such as like 2008 R2, uh, 2014, and 2016. So what we're looking at here, we've already looked at the uh, mandatory faults parameter, but I'm going to keep it on the script so that I, you know, we can copy and paste it as we need it. But we're looking at this set that I've highlighted here, which uh, we see the options uh, validate set one, two, three, and other. Okay, so if I were to write out the script, just as a case in point, I were to say uh, do function, and I were to I can skip the not required, so I can do set when I. I do set, I have the option, I'm not sure if this is showing on the screen or not, um, because sometimes it records it and sometimes it doesn't, but it gives me four options, one, two, three, and other. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wipe this out here just so that we can see what happens if we add another option. So let's say we add four. So let's say there was a new edition of SQL Server and we wanted to add another version, but we could then do a dual function, we could do set, and now we see four is on there. Okay, and so if I execute this, <clears throat> uh, we will see one um the first thing is on the first one we did actually pass in the not required yes so we see the yes and other it takes that set and on the other ones we see that it's passing in that set you know two one and four and so the great thing about sets is that if it's ever repetitive and again the sql management objects library is a great example of something that in the same spot um, and then as they add new versions of sql server we may want to use that uh, it's a quick way in which we can save that and so validate set allows us to pick with the options, which is kind of nice with the drop-down menu. We don't have to retype everything.